Today I am discussing about basic logarithmic amplifier. For that, first we are going to basic old ampere relationship of diode. So I is equal to I naught into E power V by eta into V T minus 1 where I is equal to diode current. I naught is reverse saturation current. V is voltage applied to the diode and eta is equal to 1 for germanium and eta is equal to 2 for silicon and Vt is equal to temperature equivalent where Vt is equal to K into T. K is Boltzmann's constant which is nothing but 8.825 into 10 to the power of minus 5 electron volt per degree Kelvin. Generally T will be assumed as room temperature which is nothing but 300 degrees Kelvin. So Vt is equal to 20 26 millivolts and uh, now I am going to explain for the uh, forward voltage for that I am going to consider the voltage transverse characteristics so V in is the input voltage which we are going to be considered on X axis and V naught is equal to output voltage and uh, here I am going to consider it as uh, current I okay here i is current so now i am going to explain and i am going to draw the relation between v to i input voltage versus current so what happened in this case is when the voltage is forward biased and the exponential curve is positive index and the current is also the positive value so what i am going to consider is when i is equal to if which is nothing but forward current okay so what we are getting is i naught into e power v by eta into vt why i am neglecting that one is e power v by eta into vt is very much greater than one why because if the current is if the voltage is forward voltage then the current Current is also having the exponential index of forward exponential index and that forward exponential index is very much greater than 1 that's why if is equal to i naught into e power v by eta into vt and if by i naught will be considered as e power v by eta into vt if you apply the natural logarithm on both sides then what happened is ln of i by i naught is equal to v by eta into vt from this v is equal to eta into vt ln of if divided by i naught here the natural logarithm is represented with base e and if you want to express that with base 10 then how can we represent is ln of x base e is equal to no, sorry ln of x base 10 is equal to 0 0.4343 into ln of x base e that means if you want to represent uh, with log base 10 then you have to use this uh, expression and uh, if you are going to be used in place of uh, diode if you are going to be used the transistor and we all know that the BJT transistor output current equation is IC is equal to alpha into IS into E power VBE divided by VT minus 1. Here why we have chosen it as VBE is generally the current across the BJT is VBE plus VCB but whenever you are using the diode is in the negative feedback path then the collector base voltage will be connected to ground that's why how that's why we are going to consider VBE plus VCB will be taken as VBE. Now IC is nothing but the collector current and IS is the saturation current and alpha will be taken as a constant generally we will be taken it as 1 and VBE is nothing but the base emitter voltage and VT is nothing but the voltage temperature coefficient. Okay now how can we represent as 
as IC divided by IS will be equal to E power VBE divided by VT minus 1 and here IC divided by IS plus 1 will be equal to E power VBE divided by VT where saturation current is very less value. So what happened is IC by IS plus 1 will be taken as IC by IS. Why? Because if IS is very small then the IC value will be very large then IC divided by IS is very much greater than 1. So we will be considered it as IC divided by IS will be equal to E power VBE divided by VT. So ln of IC by IS will be equal to E power V sorry ln of uh, IC by IS is equal to e, VBE divided by VT. From this we can represent it as VBE is equal to VT into ln of IC divided by IS which is the base emitter voltage for the BJT transistor. So with this background we are going to explain the basic logarithmic amplifier with the help of diode in the feedback path as well as with the help of transistor in the feedback path. Now what I am going to do is I am going to consider the diode is connected in the feedback path that too it will be connected to the negative feedback. Next now I am going to find out the logarithmic amplifier output voltage and uh, the logarithmic amplifiers are uh, nothing but the non-linear applications of op amp. Already I told you that if you are connecting the diode in the feedback path and it will be connected to the negative feedback then it will becomes the non-linear application. So here I am connecting the diode in the feedback path that too we are applying to the negative feedback. That's why here this logarithmic amplifier is uh, treated as a non-linear application of RPM. And one more thing you have to remember in this case is uh, like what we have discussed for the previous uh, differentiator as well as integrator. Here also we are going to explain the same thing. That is, while we are discussing about the output voltage of the differentiator, which is nothing but the differentiation of input voltage. While you are going to discuss about the output voltage of integrator, output voltage of the integrator is integration of the input voltage. Similarly, in case of logarithmic amplifier, the output voltage of the logarithmic amplifier will be equal to the logarithm of input voltage. And depending upon the input we are applying, at the one of the input terminal that may be the inverting logarithmic amplifier or that may be the non-inverting logarithmic amplifier. Here I am applying the input at the inverting terminal of an op amp. So I am treating it as a basic inverting logarithmic amplifier. Now I am taking the current passing through this is I and the current passing through this is nothing but IF feedback current and uh, first uh, uh, by using the Ohm's law, I is equal to V in minus VB divided by R and the node non-inverting terminal is connected to ground. That means A is connected to ground. According to the virtual ground concept, the potential at B is also equal to zero. Now, the I will be rewrite it as I is equal to Vn divided by R. Take it as equation number one. Next, what happened for the uh, feedback current? And as the current passing through the op amp is uh, zero, so IF will be equal to I. And we all know that uh, the IF equation for the diode is IF is equal to I naught into E power V by eta into VT. So from this IF divided by I naught will be equal to E power V by eta into VT. From this we calculated already V is equal to eta into Vt into ln of If divided by I naught. Now what I want to tell you is the current, so the voltage across the diode is 
what is the voltage across the diode here this is the vb plus v0 so vb plus v0 is the voltage across v0 vb plus v0 is the voltage across the diode but the potential at b will be treated as zero so what happened is vb is zero then we will get it as v0 okay vb plus v0 is equal to voltage across the diode from this we will get about it as v0 so v0 will be equal to eta into vt ln of if divided by i0 okay if divided by i the voltage across the diode is vb minus v0 so obviously the node at voltage at the node b is zero so we will get v0 so minus v0 so from this v0 is equal to minus eta into vt ln of if divided by i0 and we all know that if will be equal to i why because the current passing through the op amp is zero so if will be taken as i substitute i in this equation so we will get v0 is equal to minus n into vita ln of v in divided by r into i0 so we are assuming r into i0 is nothing but the constant voltage which i am going to consider it as v reference finally we will get v0 is equal to minus eta into vt ln of v in divided by v reference here v reference will be taken as r into i0 so from this output voltage what we can conclude is the output voltage of the logarithmic amplifier will be equal to the input voltage logarithm of input voltage which is nothing but output voltage of basic logarithmic amplifier using diode basic logarithmic amplifier can be expressed with the help of diode sorry transistor also in feedback path so here the transistor is used as a diode in feedback path by using this basic logarithmic amplifier how can we represent it as a diode is now i am going to be explained so here the current passing through the input is i and the current passing through the feedback path is ic we all know that the current drawn at the op amp is zero so what i am going to consider is uh, i will be taken as uh, ic so first uh, i am going to calculate uh, i so from this circuit how can we calculate i is from the ohms law i will be equal to v in minus vb divided by R. So, according to the virtual ground concept, the potential at A is equal to 0. Obviously, the potential at B is also equal to 0. From this, we will get I is equal to V in divided by R. Now, I am going to explain the IC, which is nothing but the transistor uh, current equation, IC. But, see this one, from this equation, IC is equal to alpha into IS e power VBE by VT minus 1. From there, we calculated VBE is equal to VT into ln of IC by IS. Already, we calculated previous, uh, previously only. Now, what I am going to explain? Explain is uh, IC, which is nothing but the collector current. Okay, now the current uh, across uh, the voltage across the transistor will be taken as VCB plus VBE, which is nothing but uh, voltage across the transistor but according to this circuit diagram the potential at c will be at the ground potential so and the potential at b and the base terminal is connected to ground so the vcb will be equal to zero once again i am repeating the collector is at the ground potential why because va is ground obviously from the virtual ground concept vb is also equal to ground so vcb 
and base terminal is connected to ground so vcb voltage will be equal to zero now what i am going to take the current which is nothing but uh, the current across uh, sir voltage sir voltage across the uh, transistor is uh, vbe that is vbe will be equal to vta into ln of ic divided by is okay which is nothing but the base emitter voltage and now listen carefully vbe after calculation of vbe i want to calculate the output voltage so apply kvl to the output loop so what happened if you apply kvl to the output loop now what happened is vbe plus v naught is equal to zero vbe plus v naught is equal to zero you will get v naught is equal to minus vbe so just substitute v naught is equal to minus of vt into ln of ic divided by is and what i am telling is the op amp input current will be equal to zero so i will be equal to ic so already we calculated i in this equation from the equation one substitute in v naught equation so v naught is equal to minus vt into ln of v in divided by r into is and r into is will be taken as reference voltage assume r into is will be equal to v reference so v naught will be equal to minus vt into ln of v in divided by v reference which is nothing but output voltage of basic logarithmic amplifier if you observe the output voltage of basic logarithmic amplifier output voltage is nothing but the logarithm of input voltage so we can calculate the output voltage of the basic logarithmic amplifier with the help of diode as well as with the help of transistor in the feedback path that too we will apply both are in the negative feedback to the op amp then only we will get the output voltage is like this and here if you observe this output voltage is negative of vt into ln of v in by v reference why we are getting that negative symbol is here your output is 180 degrees phase shift with respect to the input signal why because here in this case you applied the input at the inverting input to terminal now there are some drawbacks what are those drawbacks in the basic logarithmic amplifier so first if you observe the equations whether you may observe for the diode uh, sorry basic logarithmic amplifier used diode in the feedback path and if you observe the uh, basic logarithmic amplifier used transistor in the feedback path the output voltage v naught is equal to minus of vt into ln of v in divided by v reference so here what happened is uh, if you have taken for the diode E is in the feedback path then output voltage v naught is equal to minus vt into ln of v in divided by r into i naught if you are using diode as a feedback element okay now and this one is uh, transistor as a feedback element now if you observe both the equation in this case you are having the reverse saturation current i naught and in this case you are having the saturation current is what ha what happened if the transit uh, temperature is varying what about the reverse saturation current and as well as the uh, reverse current so whenever there is an increase in the temperature for every 10 degree centigrade rise in the temperature the reverse current will be doubled and the reverse saturation current is will be varying from one emitter to another sorry one transistor to another transistor so whenever we are changing the temperature obviously the reverse saturation current as well as uh, reverse uh, reverse current will be varying that is the main drawback in case of uh, 
basic logarithmic amplifier not only those two things and it is very difficult to set the v reference voltage when the reverse current as well as the reverse saturation current is varying why because v reference will be taken as r into i naught in this case and v reference will be taken as r into is so it is very difficult to set the v reference voltage when your temperature is varying according to that uh, your reverse current and the reverse saturation current is also varying so we can use the temperature compensation network to eliminate the uh, effect of temperature on the basic logarithmic amplifiers so by using this circuit we can compensate the temperature on logarithmic amplifier so here i am considering a1 and a2 two logarithmic amplifiers and the outputs of the two logarithmic amplifiers is applied to the subtractor so the output of the subtractor will be applied to the non inverting amplifier with this we can uh, compensate the effect of temperature on the logarithmic amplifier Amplifier. So, what are the outputs of V01 and V02? These two are the basic logarithmic amplifiers with the help of feedback as a transistor. So, V01 will be equal to this and V02 will be equal to this. And these two will be applied as an inputs of the uh, subtractor. So, when we applied the two inputs directly, then if you want to find out the relation between the inputs and outputs, first of all, we have to active one input and uh, we can connect the second input to the ground and calculate the output voltage as 1 V01 and uh, activate second input and first input will be connected to ground. So, we will get the output as V02 for getting the final output V03 which is nothing but V01 plus uh, V02. So, first what I am telling is uh, first V01 will be active and V02 will be connected to ground. So, I am considering as the output as V011 which is nothing but the inverting op amp that is minus r by r into v naught 1 and next if i am connecting v naught 1 will be connected to ground and v naught 2 will be active that v naught 2 is not directly applied as an input of non inverting op amp why because here we are having a va so first we have to calculate the voltage va va is equal to v naught 2 into r divided by r plus r with the help of of voltage divider rule we calculated VA. So, V naught 2 into R divided by 2R. R and R are cancel. We will get V naught 2 divided by 2. So, V naught 2, 2, 2 will be equal to 1 plus R by R into V naught 2 divided by 2. So, finally, V naught 3 will be equal to V naught 1, 1 plus V naught 2, 2, 2, which is nothing but minus V naught 1 plus 2R divided by R. V naught 2 into 2R divided by 2R. This 2R, 2R cancel. We will get V naught 2 minus V naught 1. And what is V naught 2? V naught 2 is minus Vt into ln of V reference divided by R1 into I1S. And then minus of minus plus. Plus Vt into ln of V in divided by R1 into Is. Log of A by B log a minus log b i am directly applying minus vt ln of v reference and then plus vt ln of r1 into is and then plus vt ln of v in minus vt ln of r1 into is so these two terms are cancelled we will get minus vt into ln of v reference plus vt into ln of v in from this we will get vt into ln of v in divided by V reference. Generally, we will get minus Vt into ln of V reference by V in. So, to neglect the negative sign, I am taking inside. Then it will be converted as Vt into ln of V in by V reference, which is nothing but the output voltage of op amp A3. That will be applied as an input of the op amp A4, which is nothing but the non inverting op amp. So, finally, V naught is equal to 1 plus here RF means R2 divided by rt into v naught 3 so here it is v naught 3 
that's it we will get it as 1 plus r2 by rt into v naught 3 means vt into ln of v in divided by v reference once again here i am writing v naught is equal to 1 plus r2 divided by rt rt into vt into ln of v in divided by v reference so if you observe this final output equation so if the temperature is changing vt value is changing and rt value is also changing so there will be no variation because of the temperature why because vt divided by rt we are having now i am going to explain anti-log amplifiers Previously, we discussed about logarithmic amplifiers. In logarithmic amplifiers, the output voltage is logarithm of input voltage. In case of anti-logarithmic amplifiers, the output voltage is anti-logarithm of input voltage or E power uh, input voltage. So, it is coming under the anti-logarithmic of amplifiers. Like what we have seen in case of logarithmic amplifiers, that means the output voltage voltage is calculated with the help of diodes in the feedback element as well as the output voltage is calculated with the help of transistor in the feedback path by using those two circuits we calculated the output voltages in case of logarithmic amplifiers similarly here also i am going to calculate the output voltages by using the diodes and transistors but in this case what I am going to do is just I am replacing the or I am swapping the components of diode and resistor as well as diode and transistor then we will get the anti-logarithmic amplifier circuit and these two figures are representing the anti-logarithmic amplifier circuits so by using these two circuits we are easily calculated the output voltage here the current passing through the diode is IF and the current passing through the feedback path is I and here the node A is connected to ground so obviously according to the virtual ground concept the node B is also at the virtual ground position virtual ground position so if va is equal to zero from the virtual ground concept vb is also equal to zero first i am going to calculate i by using the uh, ohm's law i will be equal to vb minus v naught divided by rf here VA is equal to 0 so VB is also equal to 0 so we will get V naught divided by RF and see this one here the current passing through the diode is IF and we all know the current equations for the diode is I is equal to I naught into E power V by eta into VT minus 1. So from this we all know that I by I naught will be equal to E power V by eta into VT minus 1 and there I by I naught plus 1 will be equal to e power v by eta into vt. So, v by uh, apply natural logarithm and i by i naught is very much greater than 1. So, we will be neglect the term 1. So, i by i naught. So, we will get i by i naught plus 1 is equal to i by i naught which will be equal to e power v by eta into vt. So, from this if you apply natural logarithm ln of i by i naught will be equal to v by eta into vt from this v is equal to uh, eta into vt ln of i by i naught here v is nothing but v in in case of uh, this circuit so v in is equal to eta into vt ln of i by i naught and the current passing through the rp amp is zero so the total current passing through the rp amp is also same so i f will be taken as i so now i am going to substitute i that is v in will be equal to eta into vt ln of i means minus v naught divided by rf into i naught
so which will be represented as minus eta vt into ln of v naught divided by rf into i naught so from this we are going to represent it as v in divided by eta into vt will be equal to ln of v naught divided by rf into i naught so here it is minus so from this v naught is equal to e power minus of v in divided by eta into vt will be equal to v naught divided by rf into i naught so from this what we will get is v naught will be equal to minus of rf into i naught into e to the power of v in divided by eta into vt where eta is equal to 1 for germanium and eta is equal to 2 for silicon so finally if we are assuming it as a germanium so minus of rf into i naught into e to the power of v in divided by vt which is nothing but output voltage of the anti-logarithmic amplifier just now i told you that the output voltage is anti-logarithm of input voltage or the exponential of input voltage so which is nothing but output voltage of anti-logarithmic amplifier by using diode now similarly we are going to explain anti-logarithmic amplifier with the help of diode sorry transistor how can we explain this is how that is first we all know the current equations for the transistors yes or no so here what i am going to consider is the base terminal is connected to ground and uh, here the potential at A is uh, connected to ground. So from the virtual ground concept, the potential at B is also connected to ground. Virtual ground concept, if VA is equal to 0, obviously VB is also equal to 0. So now I will be equal to VB minus V0 divided by RF, which will be equal to V0 divided by RF. Now, we all know the current equations. What is that? IC will be equal to alpha into IS into E power VBE divided by VT minus 1. And uh, alpha is equal to 1. We will get IC by IS plus 1 will be equal to E power VBE divided by VT. And uh, reverse saturation current or saturation current is very less. So, IC by IS is very much greater than 1 so if you have taken the logarithm on both sides now natural logarithm on both sides ln of ic by is will be equal to vbe divided by vt from this vbe will be represented as vt into ln of ic divided by is here in this case vbe will be equal to v in so v in will be equal to vt into ln of ic divided by is and the current passing to the rp amp is same so ic will be equal to i now just substitute v in is equal to vt into ln of ic is equal to i that is minus v naught divided by rf into is so v in will be equal to minus of V I is equal to V naught by RF minus of V T into RF divided by sorry minus V T into ln of V naught divided by RF into IS from this V in divided by V T will be equal to minus ln of v naught divided by rf into is so from this what i am going to write is v naught so e power minus of e power v in divided by vt will be equal to v naught divided by 
RF into IS. So from this V0 is equal to minus IS into RF into E power V in divided by VT which is nothing but output voltage of anti-logarithmic amplifier by using the transistor. So if you if you have seen clearly V0 is equal to minus. Why? Because we are applying the input at the inverting terminal. If you observe these equations, V0 is equal to minus V reference into E power V in by eta into Vt and V0 is equal to minus V reference E power V in by eta into Vt. Those two output voltage equations are generated for anti-logarithmic amplifier by using diode and transistors. Uh, transistor. If you observe these two equations, uh, there is a drawback in the anti-logarithmic amplifier what is the drawback is if you are changing the temperature automatically the output voltage is changes if you are not changing the input also so why because vt is equal to k into t so if you are changing the temperature the k into t will be changes and also v reference is equal to is into r1 and i naught into r1 so what happened is if you are increasing the temperature for every 10 degree centigrade rise in the temperature uh, your saturation reverse saturation current will be double and uh, emitter saturation current will be changes for uh, one transistor to another transistor and also this emitter saturation current will be varying with respect to temperature so it is very difficult to set the v reference voltage when your temperature is varying so to eliminate that temperature effect we are going to be used temperature compensated network for the anti-logarithmic amplifier now I am going to explain temperature compensated anti-logarithmic amplifier by using a matched transistor along with the anti-logarithmic amplifier I am going to explain the temperature compensated anti-logarithmic amplifier in this case I am applying the input at the non-inverting terminal so first we have to calculate voltage at Vx by using voltage divider rule Vx will be equal to oh, sorry Vx will be equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 and I reference current is passing through the non-inverting terminal of an op amp and the current passing through the op amp is zero so the total current passing through the op amp is same so the same i reference current is passing through this uh, diode also okay now generally the voltage across the diode will be taken as uh, here Vx and according to the uh, virtual ground concept the node is also at uh, Vx. Suppose if you are taking it as B, voltage at node B is equal to Vx. So voltage across the diode will be taken as that is V01 will be taken as first I am telling about voltage across the diode which is nothing but Vb minus V of 1 which is nothing but the voltage across the diode which we will be considered as v naught 1 so according to the virtual ground concept vb will be equal to vx so v naught 1 will be equal to vx minus v of 1 and we all know that v of 1 will be equal to so we all know that i is equal to i naught into e power V e, e power V by eta into Vt minus 1. So from this I by I naught will be taken as I by I naught will be taken as E power V by eta into Vt minus 1. So I by I naught will be considered as E power V by eta into Vt. Why? Because the reverse saturation current I naught is very low. That's why I by I naught is a high value. We will neglect 1 in this case. So E power V by eta into Vt. I will be taken as If in this case. So If 
will be rewritten as IF will be written as I naught into E power V by eta into VT, which is nothing but the forward, which is nothing but the uh, current passing through the diode. IF is equal to I naught into E power V by eta into VT. So coming to see this one here, we are taking V naught one is equal to VX into VF one. So what I am going to consider is V divided by eta into vt is equal to ln of if divided by i naught from this v is equal to eta into vt ln of if divided by i naught that is nothing but v v is equal to eta into vt ln of if by i naught so from the op amp a2 the potential at B is connected to ground. So V naught 1 will be equal to minus Vf2. Now I am going to calculate the voltage across the diode which is nothing but Vb minus Vf2. But Vb will be equal to 0. So Vf2 will be considered as. Now we are going to consider Vf2. Now this voltage will be taken as VF voltage which is nothing but the voltage across the diode so which is also called as VF1. So VF1 will be equal to eta into VT ln of IF by I naught and V naught 1 will be equal to minus VF2. How can we get this as the voltage across the diode is VB minus VF2. So VB is zero why because the potential at a is equal to zero obviously the potential at b is also equal to zero from that v naught will be equal to vf2 and we all know that the voltage across the diode is vf2 is equal to eta into vt ln of if2 divided by i naught and what is v naught 1 v naught 1 will be equal to vx minus vf1 so vx means what vx is calculated already V naught 1 will be equal to Vx minus Vf1. Vx, V naught 1 is equal to minus Vf2 minus of eta into Vt ln of If2 divided by I naught minus is equal to Vx. What is Vx? Vx is equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 minus. What is Vf1? Vf1 is equal to eta into Vt ln of If divided by I naught which is nothing but uh, v naught uh, 1 that is Vf minus uh, Vf1 and uh, we all know that uh, If2 will be equal to If. How can you treat If2 will be equal to If? The current passing to the RP amp is 0. So the input current will be equal to output current. So from this RP amp I will be equal to V naught minus Vb divided by Rf and uh, According to the virtual ground concept, VA is equal to 0, then VB also equal to 0. From this, we will get V0 divided by RF. That I will be nothing but IF2. So, we will substitute in this. So, we will get minus eta into VT ln of I is nothing but V0 divided by RF into I0. That will be equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 minus eta into Vt ln of IF divided by I naught. Okay, IF divided. Now, in this equation, we are considering IF is equal to I reference because here IF is nothing but I reference. So, we will rewrite this as v in into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 minus eta into vt ln of 
i reference divided by i naught will be equal to eta into vt ln of v naught divided by rf into i naught so from this v in into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 will be equal to eta into vt ln of i reference divided by i naught and here it is minus minus of eta into vt ln of v naught divided by rf into i naught so ln of a by b is equal to ln of a plus ln of b so from this v in into r2 divided by R1 plus R2 will be equal to eta into Vt. If you have take common ln of I reference minus ln of I naught and then minus eta minus ln of V naught divided by Rf and then plus ln of I naught. If you have chosen minus L naught I naught plus L naught I naught. So from this eta into Vt ln of I reference minus ln of V naught divided by Rf. That is eta into Vt V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 will be equal to eta into Vt ln of I reference divided by ln of I reference divided by V naught by Rf. Here if we have seen we have taken as minus eta into Vt. Okay, that's why we are getting it as, why because eta into minus eta into Vt, that's why we are getting minus eta into Vt, minus eta is taken as common, then we will get minus, so V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 will be equal to eta into Vt. V naught divided by I reference into Rf. Why? Because to, neg to neglect that uh, negative sign. I think once again I am going to see this one. Why? Because here minus of that is uh, V naught 1 will be equal to minus Vf2. So this is regarding to minus Vf2. This is regarding to V naught. V naught is equal to Vx minus Vf1. This is Vx and this is Vf1 and we have taken this side then it will become so plus then if you have taken minus eta into vt as a common then you will get it as ln of i reference minus ln of i naught and then uh, minus common minus of ln of v naught into uh, rf plus ln of i naught so we will get v in into r2 by r1 plus r2 is equal to eta vt into v naught by i reference by rf now take this side eta into vt ln this is very important ln of v naught by i reference into rf so now what i am going in r2 by r1 plus r2 into n into vt into v naught divided by i reference into rf so from this i reference into rf divided by eta into vt l inverse of v in into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 is equal to v naught so from this what we can understand is v naught is varying anti logarithm of input voltage here